Wow, look at him. Did you know he's just arrived from his trip to London? Yeah, I knew it. I'm sure he made a lot of friends there. I'm totally sure. Totally. I envy him. That's why he can speak English very well. Absolutely. He knows a lot of native English speakers. He can practice a lot. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Long time no see you. You look good. Hello, Danny. We're fine. We had heard you just arrived from your trip. Yeah, I'm so tired. We had this difficult exam the day before yesterday. It was very difficult. I suppose so. Your English is great as usual. That's because you have a lot of friends, right? Thanks. What do you mean? Yeah, I have a lot of friends, but... Oh, come on. We know that you can improve your English faster if you have a conversation partner. Oh, now I get you. Well, that's true. I have a lot of friends and I practice with them. You see, it's because you travel a lot. We just stay here and can't meet new people. Um, no, you're wrong. It's true I have a lot of conversation partners. But it's not because I travel a lot. In fact, when I travel, I don't have time to make new friends. Because I have to study really hard. Remember one have a scholarship. I have to get the highest grades. Then, how do you make it? I mean, how do you find friends to practice with? Oh, I can help you with that because to get better at something, you have to practice it. That's for sure. And obviously that goes for speaking, too. The more you do it, the better you get. There are no shortcuts or hacks that will get you speaking like a native unless you actually practice. There are lots of people who will speak English with you and they aren't hard to find. For example, your network. Look for people in your life that speak English or are learning it. For example, I have a cousin who traveled to Canada. I sometimes ask him some things to practice my English. Tell your friends, family, and co-workers that you want to practice speaking English and see if anyone volunteers to help. Oh, also language meetups. Well, maybe you haven't heard about that before, right? Meetup is a website where people with similar interests get together to hang out. Most cities will have an English conversation club meetup and they're usually free or low cost. And if you don't like that website, then there are a lot of other options on internet. Just search. Or maybe you can try a language exchange app. They're very famous nowadays. A language exchange pairs two people that are learning each other's language. So you might speak French and want to learn English. Your partner would be someone who speaks English. And he or she will want to practice French with you. It's a great way to share your language while learning a new one. There are a lot of apps for this. I will have to make another video to talk about this topic. Ha ha ha. Do you want it? And if that doesn't work. You can always use social media. It is designed to connect you with others. So, it makes sense it would be a good way to find conversation partners, of course. Let's see. Facebook groups. I remember I was part of it many years ago. We used to help each other with questions. They also used to post funny pictures about learning English. Ha ha ha. The thing is to find a very active group. One where you could always participate. You can also join a WhatsApp group, Discord server, or YouTube comments. How? 
Find videos that teach people English and then look in the comments. There are often tons of people looking for speaking partners. And if you don't see anyone, you can be the one commenting on this video, for example, to find a conversation partner. But always be careful. Be careful with who you connect with. You're asking why. Well, not everyone in these groups is looking only for conversation exchange. Sometimes they just want to sell their products. Online courses, applications, books. Try to make sure those are real people or students in this case, who really want to practice English for free. Something that you can also try, but only if you're single is online dating. It's a little unconventional, but the best way to learn English is to do activities that are fun and exciting. And flirting with strangers can absolutely be fun and exciting. Ha ha ha. There are a lot of apps to start dating someone. If someone seems interesting, ask if they would like to have a voice or video conversation. But again, of course, be careful. Another possibility is just to find a regular English chat website. I didn't use it much, but my father learned English with that. Many years ago, he just searched for questions in English on internet, and real people gave solutions to their problems. It was interesting. Now, if you have some money to invest, and you just want to speak English without the hassle of Finding strangers that you get along with, you might prefer to just find an online English tutor. There are a lot of platforms where you can hire an online tutor. It's interesting. Naturally, if you are hiring an online English tutor then it's more of a lesson, not an exchange. So you should expect to speak in English for all of the conversation, and you should expect a level of professionalism that you shouldn't expect in a normal conversation exchange. And let me tell you something that really worked for me to find native English speakers to practice with. I'm sure in your city, there are many tourist places. People from other countries go there all the time. Well, you just need to go to those places and ask them some questions. You need to make a plan. For example, what I did in the past was. I did a survey with questions about my country. What do you like most about my country? Have you tried this typical dish? Do you like people from my country? Then, I went to these tourist places and started asking foreigners these questions. It worked for me. I made many friends from England. France, USA, Australia. And I could give you more tips that worked for me, but I have to go home now. Wait a minute. You two are friends. Why don't you practice with each other? I don't understand. You're right. I haven't thought about it. Ha ha ha. Anyway, we need more tips. And I can give you more tips to find speaking partners, but in another video. Just if you like this one. Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, peel subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.